spring, we are joined by the students that attended the beautiful Feed Conference uh, two weeks ago. Uh, down at Concordia, Chicago. They'll be leading us through worship and telling us about their experiences there. Uh, but before we begin, I do have a few announcements. Just a reminder that tomorrow we won't be having worship here. You'll be uh, getting the traveling chapel that we've uh, started doing this year. You'll get it at the convocation. Tomorrow's convocation uh, is led by a group from uh, the Teen Challenge group in Minneapolis. Uh, the title of their conversation is Overcoming Challenges to Discover Your Purpose, Stories of Triumph Over Drugs and Alcohol. It'll be in the BEC uh, at the regular time. Also, uh, as you were coming in, you probably noticed the lit up tree uh, in the foyer or the fellowship hall and uh, the little cards that are on there. You can collect those cards and uh, it's to help uh, disadvantaged uh, kids get Christmas presents this year. Uh, we'll be collecting uh, those until the 16th of December. So we'd encourage you to participate in that. So uh, as we begin, we begin with the invocation. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue this morning with our reading. Uh, our first reading for today is from Romans chapter 10, beginning at verse 9. Uh, and this verse is kind of the basis for the name of the Beautiful Feet Conference, um, and you will see why as the reading goes on. So, Romans chapter 10. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. For there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can they, anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. But not all the Israelites accepted the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our message? Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Um, so, Beautiful Feet took place at Concordia, Chicago, about, was it two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Two and a half weeks ago. Um, so we all made the trek down there in a lovely 12-passenger van. Um, so what Beautiful Feet really is, is it's a conference that all the Concordias attend, and actually all the Concordias were there. I don't know how rare of a thing that is, but all 10 Concordias were represented, um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, and basically what it is, is it's just time to kind of come together and learn about missions and work towards uh, a better understanding of how to do missions and what everyone can do. So what happened was there was uh, two seminars like, uh, each day. There was a variety of speakers that you could choose to go visit um, from all different uh, areas, places around the world, um, and also professors from Concordia Chicago that talked about uh, either their experience with missions or just studies that they had done. Uh, and throughout this time, there was also Bible studies being led. Uh, and we started off each morning with a Bible study. Uh, and of course, we had like uh, praise time at night. So that was kind of cool with just a, a lot of people. Um, and then Saturday morning, we also uh, all partook in servant events around the Chicago area. There was, I think, five different events. Um, so that was a really neat experience. Uh, my group went to uh, a place, oh, what was it called? Pacific Garden Mission, which was a very large uh, homeless shelter. Uh, they had hundreds and hundreds of beds, which was part of our service to them, is we made beds, and we made like over 500 beds, and we also helped prepare the meal uh, that they would be serving later that day. Uh, so it was just a great experience to kind of see the work that is being done in Chicago. Uh, and like I said, there were five different of these going to different organizations, 
uh, and sites throughout the Chicago area. So it was really just a great experience to learn more about missions, hear from people that had been partaking in missions, uh, and just further encourage us uh, to spread the word of God. Today, I'd like to share with you that everyone is a missionary who knows Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Everyone is a missionary. There was a speaker at Beautiful Feet who works in Poland called David Fiala, and my home congregation had the opportunity to do a mission trip there. I didn't get to go on that mission trip because I was still a student at Concordia Chicago, actually, and I didn't think I'd be transferring here. But what was interesting was he used a testimony from a member of my congregation who is in high school right now. And I was proud to hear how he had shared his faith in Christ to these people, these kids in Poland, and how that had changed him and how he had changed their lives. And that shows what Paul was talking about in 1 Timothy. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Age does not matter when it comes to sharing the love of Christ. Each of us, every day, has that opportunity here at Concordia. It might just be seen through walking along in the halls, just saying hi to somebody. Or it could be seen through giving a hug. But God's love can be shown. And if we could just shine, live in the resurrection, live knowing that we are freed from sin, that Christ that Christ saved us from sin on the cross every day, then people would know the reason why we are free, the reason why we live confidently. So do not let anyone look at you because you are young and that your feet may be beautiful, sharing the love of Christ daily. The second reading comes from the book of Hebrews. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Please stand for prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much um, that we were able to um, join with other Christians at Beautiful Feet and learn more about your work in the world. Um, We pray for um, students who were not able to join us, um, that everyone would um, would be filled with your spirit to go into their corners of the world to uh, share the message of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, we thank you so much for the love that you show us um, through, through grace every day, um, that we can have joy in, in our daily life. 
Um, we pray for <clears throat> all of those now at this time of year who are um, feeling feeling sadness of missing loved ones or sadness of um, uh, other reasons in the family that are um, are keeping them from from seeing your love for them. We ask that you comfort them and be with them and use us to um, to comfort them as well. Lord, in your mercy. Uh, Lord, we pray for all of those who are hungry also that um, we could um, we could feed them with um, physical food, but we could also be um, be bringing them spiritual food as well um, and we know that um, the the cold at this time is also hard for people who are without homes or um, without money to pay for heating. Lord, we ask that um, that you would help us to um, be able to provide for those physical needs that are um, truly present here in our own community um, as well as around the world. Lord, in your mercy. And in closing, we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, 